Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video for y'all. Um, okay, uh, for people that don't know me, uh, know what I do, and know who I am, um, I've got two Power Edge servers. The bottom one is a Power Edge T320, and the top one is a Power Edge R320. These are not in the rack just yet. Um, hoping on getting some rails to rack mount them and hopefully getting an actual rack to put them in uh, sometime soon. Uh, I've got the studs on them all, so I'm ready to put the rails on. I just gotta actually get around to doing that. Um, anyways, the bottom one, the T320, is a home server. Uh, both of them are using, uh, or both of them are running Unraid. Uh, this one's got a, a parity drive, two cache drives, and then two array drives for actual, like, permanent storage um and this one the uh, so this is the home server uh so i've got uh, it's just a bunch of shared uh just a bunch of uh, shares um basically you can just open them up in your file explorer kind of like it's a shared uh drive or anything like that um so i've got that i've got tail scale so i can access it from anywhere i've got plex media server i had to organize all the pictures and videos better um and that's uh pretty much it for this one uh this one i've just got running a uh minecraft bedrock edition uh server um i have a uh realms plus subscription which i am ending soon um as in probably tonight or tomorrow uh, because I'm migrating it over to the server. Uh, currently, I've only got one drive in it. It's a one terabyte drive. Um, I have a tray for a second drive. Uh, this came with no trays in it. It came with, uh, I think, just the four things. Or Actually, I don't know if it even came with things here. I think it did. Um, I don't know if it did, actually. Anyways... Um, I had, I bought this, it's a four trays, two of them went here, two are right here. Um, so here it is, here's the, uh, the server. Uh, so that's what this guy is right here. Uh, it's just a simple Unraid, um, version 6.12.4. or 6.12.4. Um, as you can see, the arrays on, online is unprotected. Um, so I actually want to stop the Minecraft server. So I'm going to go here to the server, go to stop. Uh, as you can see, that's the name of the, uh, it was the name of the realm, just Realmcraft. Um, I'm going to keep the same name for the server. So now you can see the server is, uh, or, yeah, the Minecraft server is stopped. Um, and in order to actually uh, put a new drive in here. I have to stop the array. This is the unfortunate part. That's why I stopped the Minecraft server. Uh, so I'm going to go here and click stop. This will take the array offline. So now after that's done, I'm ready to put in my new drive. Uh, so how I like to have it, uh, that's kind of what I have here, or what I originally had, and then I threw in two more drives. I've got my parity, then I've got my cache, and then I've got my array, I believe. Uh, I can actually check that here in a little bit. Um, but I like to have kind of parity and then my data drives uh, on the right of it. Um, so that's pretty much what I have here. I've got parity and cache, they basically the non permanent storage. And then I've got my permanent storage in the array, uh, the protected array by the parity. Uh, this is actually my array drive. I want it to be, I want this slot to be parity and I want this slot to be my array. Um, but I don't want to put the new drive in and make this one, I don't want to wipe this drive at all. I want to keep everything that's on it. Um, and so now that the array has stopped, you can see here it's in SDC. Um, let me just refresh it. Yep, SDC. And it's a, just a one terabyte drive and I have no parity assigned. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to pull out this tray. This one is, is going to mount our cache drive. I'm going to take that out. I've already got my screws here ready to go. 
Then we're gonna take this drive out. It's not running right now because it's unmounted since the array's off or stopped. So I can take it and move it over to where I want my drive to go. Now you can see it's blinking orange in the back and it's got solid orange in the front and it's an error uh, saying that the disc has been removed. So now it's gonna spin up that drive and do a little check on it. You're gonna see this turn green on the top light, the uh, health. You saw the green activity light on the bottom a second ago. I'm not gonna clear this error because I'm actually gonna throw a new drive in. I've got this one right here. This is a old drive that I used for uh, pretty much YouTube things. And now I'm putting them mostly on the server. And I also have them on another drive. Of course, I gotta do a proper data storage technique because I don't wanna lose one thing and lose everything. Because RAID is not part of the 321 data uh, kind of protection. Uh, so this is a old, uh, well I say old, it's relatively new, but were, it was being used for like YouTube stuff. And now it's being repurposed as a parity drive on my server. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up the holes where it says SAS. So this tray works for SAS and uh, SATA drives, or uh, three and a half inch ones. I'm just gonna use my boot to hold it up because I normally don't do this with one hand. I'm gonna take my screw, drop it, why don't I? Go ahead and put it there on my tray. I'm used to using the screwdriver, the precision screwdrivers from uh, Ryobi out of my tool bag. And those ones actually have like the little knobs on top, which are really nice to allow you to kind of keep the same grip and just twist it in your hand. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this next screw, get in place, put it in. It sucks I haven't actually like ungrip the screwdriver every time they want to make another turn, but I guess that's what I get for not having it with me. Gotta love the life of a tradesman. Well, I say tradesman, you got tools. I'm a mechanic and my tools end up going everywhere. Uh, right now, that's actually where I could get it if I wanted to. There's just in the back of my truck. Uh, previously, they were in my dorm room. Uh, but, yeah. So here we go. This one just gets tight. There we go. All right. That's the last screw in, so now you can see this drive is fully mounted in its drive bay. So I'm going to take it, put it in here, I'm not going to change the label on it. Actually, the, the data one, if you looked at the label when I pulled it out, it said Windows Server OS. That's the drive I originally was going to use for my Windows Server operating system for this one. Uh, then I decided to instead put the operating system onto a RAID, so I ran Windows Server 08 Revision 2 for two days um then realized that the uh the registration key on the back of this one uh wouldn't the, the product key rather wouldn't work uh, i tried to get it to work and it wouldn't uh, so i was like well either i'm gonna have to buy this or i'm gonna have to go to another option so i just went to unraid because i mean it's honestly a better kind of option so you can see right here uh, this drive is actually turning green this other one hasn't spun up just yet uh, this one ends in NZTR, it's an SDC, last it was there. So now I'm going to click it and update it. So now I can see it says no device, it's missing it. So, and actually it hasn't registered my drive just yet. So, I'm gonna wait for this to pop an error. There you go, drive one is removed. I should start reading this one. Might need to restart the server. Uh, my parity, and by the way, this is missing and it won't let me choose another drive. It'll, it'll let me choose it, but it won't run with it because I didn't select a new configuration. So I've got my parity in place. And now I'm waiting on my other drive to load up if it will. I don't think it's going to. I hoped it would, but I don't think it's spun up. 
Maybe it's, I don't know. I can't tell what it's doing right now. So I might actually have to restart the server, so I'm gonna do that. And you're gonna see the server come offline here. <laughs> and go back on. So he's gonna start running my drives. There you go. Go showing up green for the health. And wait for this to boot up. Two non raid discs found. Because I'm not using the raid controller at all. Um, just using software raid, unraid. Uh, unraid does not like raid cards at all. Um, don't have my keys with me. If I did have my keys with me, I'd unlock this and pop this open. I let you see. Um, but I'm not gonna do that for you. So I actually took the top off, that's what this is right here, of uh, this server. Uh, that allows me to reach the actual mount things. So, scanning for devices to boot off of, it's going to find the flash drive that's inside of here. Which, in case you didn't know, that's what Unraid boots off of. So I originally had that one drive that's going to use for the OS. Then I looked at it and I was like, oh, wait a second, I can make a virtual disk first with the RAID controller. And then actually put the uh, OS on it, deploy the OS, so I did that, um, I had a disk for that, then when I switched to Unraid, I started, well obviously Unraid boots off of a flash drive, just so now you can see it's going to boot into the GUI mode, that's what I uh, changed in these uh, settings. The boot, you can see right here, with your flash drive, and the internal USB port. Now the other tower, or the tower has got the internal port as well. So this is the inside of the server, and for all my Realmcraft members, this is what your server is. Right here. I'll do a full tour of this thing eventually. No, I'm just not going to right now. Use your RAID card, which is not being used. See the SAS conference. And these are, I think, 10 gig cards. Came with the server. Uh, bought it off of eBay for 90, uh, 80 something bucks. With tax, it was 90. Not bad at all. Uh, this thing as well. So let's go ahead and put this back on. place now we're back to normal with the blue light so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my root account i'm not going to show the password <clears throat> that's going to load the web gui up for us or i guess that's what this whole thing is right here the interface and it pulls up firefox for the gui uh, so here we go. So you can see the NZTR drive is now back here where it's supposed to be. Uh, it won't start automatically because of a stale configuration. 
Uh, so when we start, it's going to start a parity sync and or a data rebuild. Um, so this is my new disk, I believe. This is my current disk. You can see it's already formatted. Uh, so now when I start the array, you can see the flash drive right here. That's what it's booting off of. As you can see, boot device. in that so you can see the disk one is normal and active and then parity is invalid um, and parity is not writing either uh, because you can see right here it actually is running a period operation so I think it is actually reformatting the drive as we speak so you can see the current position the elapsed time estimated finishes in two hours uh, which kind of sucks, but that's how it is. So I forgot this with the, the parity. It actually... I'm getting all my parity messages now. With my parity ones, it automatically formats it. With cache and all stuff, i got to format it myself. Or with a uh, new array drive. So the parity operation is running. Um, so that's ready to go. And if I just go to my settings, disk settings, I want to make sure the auto start is enabled. Yep, it's enabled. Um, my plugins, let's look at that. Tail scale is, it says it's not available. Okay, so I think it is available. I think it's just the, I think that's probably for updates. So tail skill is actually running. Show you this. this is at the top of the screen it's running um, then let's go to the docker and the server is running so there you go so there we have it it's doing the parody and other than that you can see it's hitting both drives right now. Other than that, the Realmcraft server is up and ready to go. So you can see the uptime is only five minutes, which sucks. I had it for several days before. I can go ahead and close out of this, go down here, and log out. Now we're logged out, ready to log back in whenever we need to the next time. Of course, I can always restart the server from the web GUI using a tail scale, uh, but if I have to stop the array, the plugins go down, so I can't really stop the array from long distance. Um, because otherwise, I can't restart it and get back in. And so there you have it the Realmcraft server, how to add a drive and how to interface with Unarrayed. So, um, hope you all enjoyed it.